Auburn High School. I'm Jackson Stoker. And I'm Calvin Glisson. We are Tiger TV anchors. Here are today's announcements. Auburn High School shirts are now on sale at myschoolbucks.com. If, if you wish to purchase a shirt in person, please go and see Mr. Cox in room 1344 for more information. Let's check out the exciting developments in local sports. Auburn High School opened the season last Friday with a 46-28 win against Park Crossing at Duck Sanford Stadium. JT Rogers scored three touchdowns on the ground for the Tigers with two coming in the first half as Auburn built a 24-0 lead early. Social distancing was kept in the stands as families watched their teams play. Matthew Caldwell and the Auburn Tigers will face the Opelika Bulldogs this Friday at Duck Sanford Stadium. Thank you, Jackson. Now then, let's hear about what's going on with local and world news. To start off our news for today, the City of Opelika will receive $1.57 million in state funds for the local road projects. The funds will cover police and sheriff overtime pay for extra patrols during peak travel times. Governor Kay Ivey awards almost $5 million in grants funding through the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs, ADECA. More local news. The confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Lee County has went down since the last poll. And in world news, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy strongly disputed allegations that he's making changes to the agency's operation of the post office and he says that he will make sure that mail gets delivered. Thanks, Kaden. That was very informative. Any announcements you wish to be aired, please send to AHS Mass Media 3126 at gmail.com at least 48 hours in advance. Thank you all so much for watching, and keep your masks on and your heads high.